This is um, pre-algebra lesson 1.6. You need to get your um, the note-taking um, notebook out so you can fill in the, the blanks and I'll walk you through that. This lesson is on perimeter and area. Okay, so the first one on page uh, 18 in your um, note-taking book um, is perimeter, that's under vocabulary, and the definition of a perimeter, the perimeter of a uh, rectangle is the sum of the lengths of the sides. So it's the total of the lengths of, of the sides, okay? Okay, and then the definition for area is the number of square units needed to cover the rectangle. Now, these definitions, the perimeter and the area, you need to you need to memorize those. So, if you got to take it home and practice, but you got to learn what those definitions are, okay? Okay, so let's talk through uh, that second box which says perimeter and area. So, here is my rectangle. I have my W and my L, and perimeter, which is here, is P equals 2L plus 2W. Two lengths plus two widths because we would have an L here if it'll write it, and we would have another W on this side right there. For the square, which is right here, we have four equal sides. The perimeter equals four times S, four S, and area equals S squared. So using this formula and you filled in uh, on that second box where it says perimeter P and area A I've given you what that equals and let's look at our first example and our first example is uh, A um, this is example one okay uh, A is let me fix this okay uh, A says L equals 6 feet and W equals 3 feet and we want to um, solve this so we have the solution is what it's asking you to fill in it says P equals and then there's an empty box and so you want to write the, the formula which was 2L plus 2W and then we can continue and solve that in the second box underneath that and so we need the length which was here so it's going to be 2 we have the 2 right there 6 plus we have a 2 right here and the width was right here we can solve this again. So this is 12 plus 6 equals 18. And then the box underneath that, which says answer, the perimeter is, you write 18 feet, but I can't get my 8 to work. So anyhow, that's 18. OK, let's try the next example, where it says S equals 5 centimeters. Okay, and then it says B has P equals that first box, so we're going to remember that our uh, formula uh, for perimeter of a square um, is going to be 4 S. So we need to put 4 S here. Then we put in the real numbers so we keep the 4 because that was part um, so we write 4 here from the, what that was the formula and 5 here that was the data that we got that the book gave us so the second box is 4 times 5 and then we can solve that and that would be 20 and then it says the answer the perimeter is and in that box 20 centimeters then it has a your turn now it says find the perimeter of the 
rectangle or square. So in that one, this is on the top of page 17. It has a rectangle and it has uh, 2 meters and 5 meters and we have to solve this so we can look back at example 1. So we have um, our length is this one is going this way. So we know the formula is 2L plus 2W. We have the 2 from our formula and we have the 5 that was given to us right there plus uh, our formula, the two width, which was right here. That's that two. And then we have this two right here. Now we solve. So two times five is ten, plus two times two is four. And in this case, P equals fourteen. That's the, how much the outside of this measures. Okay, so here we have a square. We can look back over on our notes and see what we do with the square. That one is going to be 4s for p, and the area is going to be s2 equals a. So, uh, see what we got? Uh, we'll do p equals 4s, solve that. Um, okay, and the perimeter, if we have, um, this is the l, this is the W, so 4 times 7, and its P is going to equal 28. If we want to find uh, the, the area, that is that formula, and that one would be 7 squared, and that would equal 49. Okay, example 2, we have the length equals 10 feet, and the width equals 4 feet. So uh, we already know that that's going to be a rectangle because one side is clearly longer than the other. So we put the 10 here because the length goes this way. The width is here and it is going up. And it, the problem wants you to find the area, only the area. So the formula for a rectangle area, we can look over on our notes, is A equals length times width. So we're going to have A equals 10 times 4, and then you can work that out, and that will be 40, and so A will equal 40. So the area is 40 square feet, and that's important that you understand it's square feet. If you measure carpet or you do anything in a house, you're, it's called square feet, okay? So you got to know that this is what we're finding here. The next um, problem is S equals 12 centimeters and A, uh, we know that it's going to be a, a square because all sides are equal. So this is what that means. It's all 12 centimeters. And A equals S squared. So A will equal 12 squared. And 12 squared is 144. So A equals 144. In this case, this is square centimeters. Okay, We could get 144 square centimeters out of our box if we, okay? Okay, on the your turn now, at the bottom of page 17, we have a box, it's a square. Um, no, it's not a square. Um, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, area, uh, it's a rectangle, sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. Um, and the formula for a rectangle, because this is five and this is six, so these are not, it's not a square, is going to be L times W. Okay, like I said, you're going to have to memorize this. And then it's going to be A equals 5 times 6. And then A equals 30. And because uh, millimeters squared. Okay, that's how you would write that. Um, so that's going to, that's a little confusing for you because 
we haven't used uh, the measurements with the little square sign right there, okay? Okay, so in this one, uh, we have a square because they're both 10 feet, and our formula area for a square is S2, so it's A equals 10 squared, and that's going to be A equals 100 feet squared, okay? That's what that is. Okay, so this one wants you to find the perimeter and the area on number five of a rectangle, okay? There's a length of 12 inches and a width of nine inches. So that's our L, that's our W. And you can look back over um, the perimeter formula is 2L plus 2W, so that would be 12 plus 9, and we have to turn it into our multiplication. Let me erase this right here real quick. That was too big. So when we plug in our, our numbers, um, we have 2 times 12 and 2 times 9. And, okay, and so we work that out. 2 times 12 is going to be 42 inches. My pen isn't writing again. Plus 108 inches. Oh, sorry. Plus 18 inches is going to equal 42 inches, okay? Now the second part of that formula was that you had to figure out area. So we had 12 inches and 9 inches. And the area formula of a rectangle was A equals L times W, so A equals 12 times 9. That'll be 108 inches squared when you work that out. Okay, so on the example uh, number 3, it says that it, we talked about a hidden garden that is a length of 20 meters Uh, and a width of 15 meters, and it wants you to find the perimeter in the area. So the solution for P is we write down the formula in the first box, 2L plus 2W. Next box, we work it out, 2 times 20 plus 2 times 15. We solve that down, that's 40 plus 30, and then the last one is 70. So it's 70 meters, okay? And the area now, the area formula is LW, and that's going to be 20 times 15. That's going to equal 300, and the answer there is 300 square meters. Your assignment is from page 34 and 35 in the book, and uh, you want to do numbers 8 through 18, number 20, and 27 through 35. If you have any questions, just ask me.